Yes, enjoy Jodha. Enjoy Jodha. I watched Jodha uh, since uh, probably 2005. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And so it's not new to you. Especially during yeah. Olympics, I always yeah. watch. Everybody watches it, tweets about it. And yeah. <laughs> we've been tweeting during the Olympics all the time. Yeah. But in, uh, I don't uh, have time to attend the, the live events usually because of that time time pressure otherwise uh, on television we always watch people at home um, who are watching and, and listening um, they know the judo part they can see the judo uh, going on I mean what what other things would you would you take the chance of saying if, if someone was going to come to Mongolia and you're uh -huh. going to choose one or two things to say okay come to judo but really come and see this or come and see that what two things would you would you pick out as being really important to do or see on, on a visit to Mongolia yeah yeah if they want to come to Mongolia to see all kinds of wrestling including national wrestling judo uh, this uh, this fighting techniques and tricks uh, I think Mongolian wrestlers are very good uh, athletes are very good at bringing in new techniques into any a wrestling kind of sports like into sumo like into judo and uh, it's because I think we have very rich um, tradition of wrestling uh, culture have you been na at Nadam in Mongolia? I have they took me yeah they asked me to, to, to try <laughs> <laughs> you have to judo is actually <laughs> close to Mongolian uh, national wrestling because yeah. lots of uh, matches happen on the same day so That's, you have yeah. to you have to do all kinds of techniques in one day, so you show uh, a very good uh, entertainment to viewers. What, what, what about what about outside of the um, the combat type sports, uh, judo or wrestling? What about if somebody wanted to come here for a holiday? What what would persuade them as a tourist to come to Mongolia? What what sites would you say were, were the most memorable and, and worthwhile seeing in uh, Mongolia? I know there are many, but pick are, two. <laughs> pick two pick, really pick two. important things so that you have to see when you come to openness, Mongolia. Just openness of the space. Just the they, landscape. They have to go out of Ulaanbaatar city to mm. see the real Mongolia. Uh, and then you will understand where do we get the energy? Where do we get the spiritual countryside. strength? Because it's from countryside, from wind, from... Uh, if you're coming from south... Asia, for example, you immediately feel you are in the air conditioning country because <laughs> you immediately feel the uh, wind and uh, the fresh air flowing. So in Ulaanbaatar, of course, um, I cannot pick... Uh, uh, if you came to Nadam season, you have to go to Nadam Stadium. But if you come to uh, other times, like winter time, there are museums that you can visit religious or uh, cultural activities cultural yeah. Or, yeah lots of cultural activities during winter time we had there's a, a very special type of uh, singing uh, in, in Mongolia and we were exposed to to some of it uh, dur during this visit what's what's the special uh, singing that they that uh, throat that's singing the throat singing Hom that they homie? have homie that's the, it's called homie yeah right, so that's a, a very popular um, kind of singing here in uh, in Mongolia, which some people will probably have heard of. They've all seen uh, National yeah, Geographic yeah. program or something with, yeah, with that I, type of singing. When we were child, when we were children, we didn't understand why it was so special. But as we grow up and as we try to do the same, imi imitate the same sound, then then we realize How that we cannot <laughs> do that. And it's very, it requires really really special. Uh, strings to wow. do that kind of noise so it's um, don't move your tongue and you have to make uh, two tunes through your throat and make uh, a melody with two different notes of two different tunes then you will understand how difficult it is I can do that but <laughs> lots of people in Mongolia do that especially in the uh, far west of Mongolia people do homey uh, from childhood and you, you've got these different uh, aspects of um, in, in your por portfolio, not just, um, I mean, we were talking about something that's cultural and, and, and music. That, that's mm. uh, under your, your 
portfolio we just mentioned about coming to Mongolia and seeing the uh, the landscape and I suppose that would come under tourism and then mm -hmm. here again with, with judo you you've got that to look after under sport it's quite yeah. it's quite a lot of work yeah but uh, even though it looks like three different things uh, but uh, in total it's uh, one thing about Mongolian branding uh, if you it's a uh, have to uh, oh Almost some action. <laughs> my my, my uh, one goal in all three se sectors is how to improve the quality, uh, uh, quality uh, of Mongolian human development and sustainable way, and and it's it these these all sectors require lots of human de capacity development and lots of. Uh, commitment to sustainability, continuation of all these traditions, etc. So, uh, in, in total, that's, uh, that's the face of our country. Do, do you have um, a, a reasonably close link or a working uh, understanding with the Ministry of Education to try and, 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 and have some of the things that you're involved in uh, with, with young people? I mean, you would want to see young oh. people with sport that was um what uh, what just happened namsa uh nam nams i can't get it <laughs> nams rajav has just uh thrown ulzibaya for uh ipon and i uh, will see a replay on the big screen they've got a huge big screen at the end of the uh the competition arena here and uh we'll be able to have a look at that and then there's a replay on uh, uh -huh. on here on the screens at home We'll just identify the, uh, the technique for you. That's a bronze medal for the, uh, uh -huh. the Mongolian there. Here, here is the, uh, the winning technique. Ah, uh, yeah. That wasn't the winning one. 